Greetings, I hope you're having an amazing day. We're on day 20 of the Live Out Your Faith 30-Day Financial Prayer Journal. Our prayer focus today is affirming God's promises. And y'all know I love to affirm the promises of God. Our faith confession for today, repeat this after me. I affirm God's promises of abundance and prosperity. I release my faith for abundance and prosperity to flow into my life with ease. And as I was driving this morning to work, I realized that we tend to say our prayers from a posture of defeat versus using our faith to pray from a posture of victory. And I wanna encourage you when you pray, we don't pray complaining prayers. We pray prayers that align with the word of God and with what we're believing God for. Amen. Our scripture meditation is Jeremiah 29 and 11. And I want to read that to you out of the New Living Translation. It reads, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not disaster to give you a future and a hope. In those days, when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me, I'm going down into verse 13. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me and I will be found by you, says the Lord. And I'm gonna go on down to through 14 and it says, I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. And as we are decreeing and declaring the promises of God, our lives are in alignment with the word of God. Amen. We want to live a life that's fully pleasing to God so that as we declare his word, those words are being lifted to the heavens so that our father hears us. And he and when we know he hears us, the Bible says that we can have the petitions that we desire of him. Our reflection for today is to write about God's promises for your financial life and how you can hold on to them. My question to you is, do you have more belief in the power of God's ability to deliver you or are you continuing to allow the spirit of poverty, lack and shortage to have the victory in your life? And I hope the first um, option is that you're going to believe God's word and his promises and you're gonna stand up in a posture of victory and declare the promises of God and not only declare them, but believe them in your heart. Amen, believe that you receive them. Our action step is to create a vision board or list of God's promises to keep a daily reminder. For me, what I did, I took a sheet of paper and I wrote out some of the promises of God that I was believing God for. And I do this from time to time. And I put them in my wallet. And I would go and look at those from time to time, declaring them over my life. I also uh, have a board in my home where I write down things that I'm believing God for. It's on a large sticky note that is on my wall and sometimes it falls down, but I put it back up, but it's what I'm believing God for. And that way I'm reminded and I check the boxes off as God is um, showing himself up in my life, amen. And I'm seeing those things take place. So I check it off, all right? And so when you're standing and believing, you your whole posture is that of victory, amen. Is that you believe that you receive. So that's going to be seen in your words, your actions, and you're going to resist thoughts of failure and defeat that may try to inhabit your mind. All right. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your precious promises. We thank you that as Jeremiah 29, 11 and 12 says that you have thoughts of us for good and not evil to give us hope and a future. We bless you, O oh God, for a good hope and a good future. We thank you, Lord God, that yes, indeed, your plans for us are good. And we stand today, Father, in a posture of victory and not that of defeat. We are your children and we thank you, Father, that no weapon formed against our lives are able to prosper. 
We thank you, O oh God, that we can rise up in a in our righteousness in you, in Christ Jesus, and do the greater works that Jesus said that we can do, God. We bless you right now, Lord God, that you are an, indeed the lifter of our heads. Our heads are lifted high. We stand in the whole armor of God. We stand, Lord God, in great victory because we do indeed know there is a sudden turnaround. We yield our ears to hear your voice, O oh God. Our hearts are ready to receive and our hands are ready to go and do all that you've ordained for us to do. I pray for blessings and increase. I thank you for multiplication and expansion. I thank you, Lord God, that you are enlarging our territory, expanding our dwelling places, keeping evil far from us that it will not harm us. Let your will be done in our lives today as it is in heaven. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we give you praise and we give you thanks. And we say amen. All right, you all have an amazing day today. If this prayer was a blessing to you and this word was a blessing to you, be sure to leave me a comment. Also tag someone, like it, share it. And if you don't follow, I love for you to hit that follow button for more inspiration, encouragement in your journey of faith. You all have an amazing day. God bless.